In this problem, we're told the cable exerts a constant upward tension of magnitude 1.25 times 10 to the 4th newtons on a 1 times 10 to the 3 kilogram elevator as it rises through a vertical distance of 2 meters. A. Find the work done by the tension force on the elevator, and B. Find the work done by the force of gravity on the elevator. So we're basically trying to find uh, two different works, right? So for A, we're trying to find the work done by the tension force on the elevator, right? So I went ahead and drew what was going on. So we have this elevator, right? And we have this tension force in the cable, which is 1.25 times 10 to the 4th newtons. Uh, we're also told the mass, which is 1.0 times 10 to the 3 kilograms. And we know the distance it's going to be traveling, right? So this is just what's going on. And so let's solve this problem. So what we're trying to do for the first one, right, is work. And so the formula for work, you guys should know, uh, work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. Right, so force is just the force being applied, right? So in two different cases, the first case is just the force done, or uh, the tension force, right? So when we solve the work for this one, it's just the force is just going to be the tension force, right? And then distance is just the distance it moves. And in both cases, it's going to be the same. It's going to be two meters, right? And then uh, theta is basically the angle between the direction of the force, right? The direction the force goes, and then the direction uh, it actually travels, right? So let's just start with the first one. So work is going to be the force. So the force in the first one the fir, uh, is just done by the tension force, right? So we know the force is just going to be the tension force, which is this right here, right? 1.25 times 10 to the fourth newtons, right? So that's going to be the uh, force. The distance it moves, right, is just two meters, right? That's how far it's going to travel. So two meters. And then the cosine of theta, right? So if we draw a graph like this, right, where is the tension force being applied? It's pulling it up, right? So we know the force is going upwards, kind of like this, okay? So imagine this arrow is uh, the force. And then what about the direction it's traveling in? So the direction it's traveling in is just also straight upwards, right? And I didn't draw them over each other, but just know they're basically on top of each other. Meaning if they're basically on top of each other, the angle between the force and the direction it's going is just going to be zero, right? Because if something's on top of each other, there's no angle between them. Meaning the theta in this case is just going to be zero, right? So it's just going to be times the cosine of zero. And you guys should know the cosine of zero is just one. So essentially in this case, it's just going to be, uh, right? It's just going to be the force of the tension times how far it travels. Right, so go ahead and do this, right? It's just gonna be, right, you can just multiply this out. So two times 1.25 is just 2.5. So 2.5 times 10 to the fourth, and then we measure it in joules, right? So this is gonna be um, your answer to A. So the work is 2.5 times 10 to the fourth joules. So this is A. Now let's do B. So B is a little bit different, uh, and we gotta think through it, but essentially, same thing, right? We're solving for work. So work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta. Right, so what is the force in this case? So we're talking about the force of gravity on the elevator, right? And so what's the force of gravity? It's just going to be mg, right? That's something you should know. Uh, it's just going to be the mass times the gravity. That's the force due to gravity, okay? And so we can calculate this, right? It's just going to be the mass of the elevator, which we're given, multiplied by uh, the gravitational constant, 9.8, right? So we know the force, right? So if we do work equals the force, which is 1 times 10 to the 3, right? And then... Uh, that's the mass, right? And we multiply by g, which is just 9.8, right? So now we've got the force multiplied by d. What is d? The distance it travels. Uh, in both cases, it's just 2 meters, right? So times 2. And then the cosine of theta, this is where it's a bit different than the last one. So what is theta in this case? So think about where the force is being applied. Notice in the drawing, right, the free body diagram, it's going downwards, right? So the force is being applied this way. So this is where it's a bit different, right? So notice the, for, uh, the way it's traveling is straight up, right? It still goes upwards, but in this case, the force is pulling it down. Meaning the angle between the two, right? It's just going to be this right here, right? And what is that going to be? It's going to be 180, right? Because it's just half of a circle, right? Imagine a half a circle, so it's 180. So it's going to be the cosine of 180, right? Because theta is um, the angle between uh, the force, right? Uh, which is downwards, and then the direction it's going. So it's 180, cosine of 180, right? You should know this too, is just minus one. So in this case, the work's actually going to be negative, right? And that's because it's traveling in the opposite direction of where the force is being applied, right? So just multiply it out. This is just going to be minus 1, right? So go ahead and do this. Uh, so 1 times 10 to the 3, right? Then multiply that by 9.8. And then you're going to want to multiply that by 2, right? And then it's obviously going to be negative, right? So you're going to get work is equal to uh, minus 19,600 joules, right? And so you can put this in scientific notation if you want, right? So I'll just do... Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, so minus 1.96 times 10 to the 4 joules, right? So just make sure you do it however your teacher wants you to. But yeah, so this is going to be the work for B, right? So the work done by the gravitational force or the force of gravity on the elevator. So yeah, this is your answer to B. 
Uh, and then this was your answer today. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.